Yeah. It's still morning for three minutes. <laughs> so good morning. I can't tell you this moment, having this beautiful woman's arm around my back. I'm in awe and just so grateful for you being here, Miss Frances Wayman Fox. Thank you for being here. And I wanted you to stand next to me while I said these words because um, they really are a testament to the family. And I just I wanted you to be next to me. So it is hot, but Nina Simone was hot. <laughs> I am wearing a rainbow because when you take the heat and light of the sun and you take the tears that came rain-like through her life and the lives that she witnessed and represented, we, we have a rainbow. And you know, she had a song on Folksy Nina that said, you can sing a rainbow. You can sing, a, and she sang a rainbow for us. She sang the full spectrum of the human experience. And from this mountain home crafted out of black love and resilience was launched a voice and life that stood for freedom. Nina Simone famously declared, freedom is a feeling, freedom is no fear. And on this Juneteenth day, I can't imagine a more relevant place, mm. space, legacy, life, voice, soul. Mm. Eunice Wayman, mm. Nina Simone, we honor you. Yes. Your children are many. Your echoes are endless. I stand here today representing two divisions of the North Carolina Department of Natural and Cultural Resources. I stand here as the founding executive director of the North Carolina African American Heritage Commission and the first African American to serve as the director of our Division of State Historic right. 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 I stand here in humble gratitude to the four artists who united to buy this home. Thank you, Evan. Yes. Yes. I stand here in humble gratitude for the National Trust, who declares this a national treasure, appropriately so. I stand here in gratitude to the people of Tryon, Chris, yes. most importantly, who have held this place well and with love. More importantly, I stand here today because as a 14 year old, I stumbled upon the televised interpretive dance of Miss Spellman as she moved lyrically and powerfully to Nina Simone's Four Women. Mm -hmm. This moment changed my life. It literally did. And I'm not alone. I am far from alone. The resonant revolution that is Nina Simone continues to touch the worlds of the academy, womanist studies, black heritage preservation, artist activism, and so much more. As an uncompromising and bold daughter of North Carolina, her freedom song stands rooted in the same soil that birthed or raised or held as home place women like Roberta Flack, yes. Ella Baker, yes. Maya Angelou, yes. Harriet Jacobs, Dr. Charlotte Hawkins Brown, and Polly Murray and countless named and unnamed souls who were held in human bondage at places like Stagville and Somerset and many other places across this land. But her freedom song is needed now more than ever. There are still children being held in bondage. I feel that she would have been singing out, and I feel that she sings out through us. Mm -hmm. Nita Simone, North Carolina celebrates your legacy as your home place and your birthplace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.